this tutorial is about a triple action pull strip. It's based on an amazing mechanism from this book, Robot, produced by Jan Pienkowski. Paper engineering by Roger Diaz, Tor Lokvig, Marcin Stajewski. And here's the mechanism, quite extraordinary. It's an athletic move. The robot sits up, all the way up, then his arms and his trousers come down. So I'm trying to replicate that move with a quite a complicated mechanism. Here are my examples. This was the first one I made. And you pull it and it lifts up and then the arms come down and the you know, trousers or whatever, you get a third action down there. The way it works, this is a, a basic flap, that the idea of a, a flap where when you pull it, there's a fulcrum in the page, it makes the flap lift. And in this case, in order to get the arms pulling down, you have to have this extra bit stuck on the back. There's a bit that slides. So as you pull it, the, the grey slides out of the, out of the green. And it's that that pulls the, the yellow pieces down. The, the yellow pieces are attached to this, which is attached to the grey. So as you pull it down, that pulls the yellow down and that pulls the arms down. Because the grey is sliding and can move, the grey has to have this piece, this pink bit that goes through it, and as you pull it, that comes up against a stop there. So that just stops the whole thing pulling out. So to make it, here's the, this is the pull strip. It's in three strips. The whole thing is at the moment, it's the, the length of a whole sheet of um, A4. It's just a tad under 30 centimetres. The piece at the top is six and a half centimetres and then it has a one millimetre, two millimetre piece taken out and then it's scored so that will fold there and this folds across it's five, five, four point seven. These slots that are cut in the central section, two centimetres below this crease and cut line you have this this guideline two centimeters down and then the slots four centimeters down and then you're coming in 1.25 1.25 and you have these two slots each of them is about two millimeters wide and this is going to have some pieces going to go through there so when you glue it make sure this isn't glued onto that you can put a little bit along the top here just to glue the top of it and you can put plenty on down here but these have to be clear of glue so we'll just glue that down and then we'll fold it right over put glue on that one and at this point you can put glue all the way up and down this strip takes a lot of pull and a lot of push, so you really need it to be triple thickness to make it really sturdy. So this is the base sheet. It's a sheet of A4. So the slit that the pull strip is going to come out through, that is two and a half centimetres up from the base. And then it's six centimetres wide. You need it to be centred on the page. 19 centimetres above the base, this is the bottom of the slot. This is the slot that the flap all works through. The slot is 0.5 centimetres deep and 5.5 centimetres wide. On each side you have these slits that are 11 centimetres long. They start 5.5 centimetres from the bottom, they go up 11 centimetres and the gap between them is 6.5. They're a little bit wider than this slit at the bottom and they're quite a bit wider than this slot at the top. So I'll just cut those and then we can start assembling it. 11 centimetres, there's a cut here. 11 centimetres. There's a slit here. 6 centimetres. And as with all these things, just cut the ends back a little bit so that the card can just lift up slightly and allow the pull strip to move comfortably. And then we've got this slot, which is 5.5, 5.5, 5 
and half a centimeter deep. And because it takes quite a lot of stress, I've actually made a, a reinforcing piece to go around it. It's about one centimeter in each direction around it. So I'll just glue that into place as well. So that's the reinforcement. Then we take the pull strip and this is the sort of sleeve that the strip slides through. This is the flap that the whole thing is going to move on. The dimensions of that are, you've got a crease across the middle, that's eight centimetres up, another seven centimetres up, and down here you have this little piece that goes through the slot, two or three millimetres, and then the bit below it is one centimetre wide, or one centimetre deep, and eight centimetres along here. Coming in, the window between these, these will actually be the arms that lift up. These are coming three centimetres, three centimetres. This is six and a half centimetres. This is two. And then you have these slits. These are the slits here. So then you have, you have these slits. These are the slits that the orange pieces come through and will then pull this flat down forward. And so these slits, so you come up from this corner, 2.7, that's where the slit starts. You come in 3.5, so you measure in 3.5 centimetres, then up 4.7, that will give you the other end of the slit. You then cut down between those two points. You do that on both sides. And you have this fold. Make sure the crease is folded well. Now we have this sleeve that I just picked up. The whole thing is eight and a half centimetres wide and six centimetres deep. On the other side, you can see it's got three score lines. In the middle, this is five. This is where the pull strip is going to be able to slide up and down. So you fold those creases. The point of these is to accommodate the thickness of the pull strip that's going to go up and down. So just crease all those creases. that glues onto this. So this glues on all the way down to the bottom like that. So you just glue the central five centimeter wide part. And maybe if I turn it around the other way, you can see the five centimeter wide part glues all the way down to the bottom. So that in effect, it's reinforcing this narrow piece on this flap. That is a really weak point. And so having this stuck down there, that reinforces it and will make the whole mechanism work better. So I'll put some glue on that. That glues on there. These flaps just fold in lightly. You don't want them really creased because they're just going to go through that slot and then unfold again. So that's going like that. The pull strip, these two slots go on the same side as these bits. So this will now feed in down there. So this is going into that sort of sleeve. So we want that to be able to slide up and down. So that's gone through there. You can see it on the other side. There it is, it's going through there and you can see it can now slide up and down. So we're looking at it this way. I think the next piece to add on are these the orange pieces. This is 10 and it's two lots of one centimetre so you can fold it like that to make it stronger. It has a crease here, it goes up six and a half centimetres and it's two centimetres wide. This is this little piece, which is going to hold, the orange piece will go like that. So you've got the pull strip all the way up to there. This little piece is one and a half centimetres wide, three, 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 and I made two scores so that it can accommodate a bit of 
thickness of card. Fold that on like that. This is going to stick right at the top there. So I'll put the glue on that middle bit. So that's going to glue in the middle, gluing onto the pull strip. This is the orange piece and the bar that's going to go through the red, that's double. So I'll just fold that thoroughly. And this has little tabs on the top. These are going to stick to the other side of the yellow piece. So we'll just fold those little tabs down. So this orange, the two bars on the orange go through these diagonal slits, goes up there. We now can glue this red bit shut. Right, now, with this going flat like that, we now can glue these onto the top half of the yellow. Put a bit of glue on each of these tabs. And this is where I had a lot of trouble trying to work out how to get the maximum movement, and I'm not sure I actually cracked it, but let's see what happens here. So this is it flat and then when we pull it, it goes up and it pulls down. What I haven't put in here yet is the piece that goes through here. When you pull it that is what acts as a stop when you're pulling this down. That's seven so we'll make it a bit more than that say eight and then it's going to fold over and over. Let's just go the full length of this piece of card I've got here. And then we need these two folds on those lines. It goes through there on one side. It's got to go through these two slots. Go through there on the other side. Turn it over, turn this back. Now these go over and stick down. So put a bit of glue there. This is the piece that as you pull it, as the strip slides down, I think that's supposed to stop it going too far. I think I've actually been misleading about this. This piece is what actually is used to give the third action, which is this blue pit lifting up and down. And what stops this pulling too far is this red piece coming down with the orange. And as it comes down, it turns over. The orange piece slides down. When it gets to the base, that stops it moving any further. And coming back, it goes, goes back up like that. This piece is actually used for pulling down this piece and making that jump up. And it's just very simple. You've got this piece like this. It glues down there. It's got three creases. It's got a small one here, one in the middle, one there. You glue this to that and the other end glues onto that orange piece, which will help to keep the orange piece in place and keep it straight. So I'll just glue that into place. That will go there. The other end glues onto the orange here. So now as you pull the strip, the flap lifts, that comes down and the top of the flap comes down. I'm not really happy with this. It, it's quite complicated. The measurements where you put this, how tight you put this. Robot has definitely done it better than me, but you get the idea of how it works. And so if you want to use this mechanism, I think you've got the basics of how to start
playing with it. We'll just have another quick look at this just to see how nicely it can be done. We pull that and he goes right up and then the arms do come down a long way. He's also got two folds in this so you don't just get one bump like I made. You do have two. It's a very complicated mechanism. If you can get it right, it's very pleasing. So here it is. I'd like it better if the arms moved down further when I pulled it, as they do in robot. It's these dimensions. I have played around with it and I haven't quite cracked it. And so if you really like this mechanism, you understand the basic principles of it from this and you should be able to, to make a really good model yourself.